Tonight we're in Koz, we're on the coast at the moment and we've got a team of our staff out. We're doing the night patrol today. Now there's reports of hundreds of refugees coming in every night over from Turkey, coming over to Koz. Uh, we've been patrolling the beach, we've come across things on the floor, we've come across shoes, we've seen life jackets, we've even seen the floating boats, paddles. Uh, we've seen some of that stuff tonight, so definitely there's already been activity tonight. Uh, we might have just missed it, but we're going to spend the rest of the night out here. We're going to be patrolling the beach to see if there's anybody that we can help. Now, hopefully, if we do come across people, uh, any families that are coming in today, we have winter packs ready to distribute, we have food ready to distribute, and we also have transport. We've got our vans parked uh, over on the side. Anybody that comes in, we can uh, get them to somewhere safe and somewhere warm as soon as possible, where they can get all the help that they need. Human Relief Foundation are out here in Greece, in Koz, to deliver much, much needed humanitarian aid to the ten, tens of thousands of refugees coming into Europe. Now, one of the refugees that we met today goes by the name of Um, Mah um Ahmed, who is 75 years old, who we coincidentally met today. What stood out about her story and what broke our hearts is that Um Ahmed is 75 years old when the conflict began, she sent two of her sons and one of her daughters to Sweden um, due to the conflict in Syria. When the conflict in Syria became really bad, she urged and insisted that her son, her daughter-in-law and two of her grandchildren flee or escape the, the war-torn country and come to Greece, to Kilminos. One of the main news channels reported that a massive boat had capsized. Um, in the sea that you see right behind me um, and uh, she's trying to get through to her son she's calling her son she can't get through to them um, so what she did she she spoke to her son in Sweden um, and she made sure that he came down to Greece to find out what had happened to her son um, and his wife and her grandchildren when he came down he inquired with the authorities nobody knew a thing he inquired with the hospitals, nobody had heard of their names before um, until a local, local NGO came forward and, uh, and, uh, and had informed him that we, we, don't, we haven't heard of the names but we have, we have a lot of bodies that, that you could come and identify. And at this point it was where he identified the, the bodies of his nieces and nephews and his sister-in-law. Brother. And to this day, they, they still have no idea what happened to him. Human Relief Foundation have been working with refugees all across Europe and the rest of the world over the past several months. We've been following the refugee crisis and it brings us here today to COS in Greece. Now, unfortunately, not everybody makes it. Today, we're at a graveyard. This is an all Muslim burial ground and just walking around, seeing all the different graves. What really struck me was the different ages that I was seeing on these graves. Over on that side over there, we have a grave of a baby that's only one and a half months old. Here we have children only two years old. And here we have people 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, all types of different nationalities, all types of different ages. And I'm sure all types of different stories, everybody trying to make it to a safer place, but unfortunately losing their life on the way. 